Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Alice, can you say good morning? We're good live. Morning. What do we say in Spanish? Buenos dias. Good girl. Buenos dias, amigos. It's really good to see everybody. Uh, and two. We've been practicing our counting and, with numbers. Uh, and one. Yeah, good practicing, Alice. And we are going to be Five, sharing some of our counting work with four, you guys this morning. First of all, will we talk about what day it is today? Yesterday was Four, Tuesday. Ellie? Five. Ellie? <laughs> what day comes after Tuesday? We've got there's Monday and there's Tuesday. There's Wednesday and there's Thursday. There's Friday and there's Saturday. And then it's Sunday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So we had Monday, then Tuesday, then Friday, not quite, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Oh, someone's watching with us in a sec. Good morning. Buenos dias, April. April's watching. Oh no, there go two of my boxes, but that's okay. I'll pick them up in a minute. Okay, so the news. Unfortunately, here. most writing goes backwards when we show it news online. But it's Wednesday, the 29th of April. Fun fact um, about today. Oops. It's my friend Kirsty's birthday today. And and here's the news. And here's the news. Yeah, so we want to say happy birthday to Kirsty. Say happy birthday, Kirsty. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, right, stand up. There we go. So, today our weather, we can't get that sunny symbol back out yet, can we, Alice? It's not quite sunny. What do you think the weather's doing today? Cloudy. It's cloudy it's today. Bad, but we can still play outside. Yes, we can. It's not that wet, so we can definitely enjoy playing outside today. And Maybe we... we. And I got a, and I got an idea. Oh, Jade, you're always full of ideas. So maybe. And maybe we Ellie? can take Bonnie for a walk. Maybe we could take Bonnie for a walk just for a change. And, uh, and uh, what were we going to say? And. Maybe we'll do some hockey skills. April, who's watching actually, made a fantastic video telling us how to play hockey in the garden. So we can maybe try some of that today. Does that sound good? That's my toy. Good. Oops, someone else is watching. Oh, Tuna's watching. Good morning, Tuna. Buenos dias. Say hello to Tuna. Yeah, no. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias, good girl. Okay, so this morning... Buenos dias, hello. Buenos dias, hello, very good. This morning, we're going to do a bit of counting. Okay. And we're mostly counting with the words that we know in English, but we've added just a tiny little Spanish twist to our counting today. We're going to have a little bit of a kind of guessing game to see if we know what Spanish people call their numbers. So I have got five boxes, well I did. Oh, I think we've got another message. <gasps> Jackie's watching. Oh, Joanne's watching. Good morning, Joanne. My very good friend from school. Alice, can you say good morning to Joanne? Turn around to the camera. Hello. Hello. Hi to the Campbell family. Thank and you for tuning in. I've got a friend in. called Simpy. Yes, you do. That's your imaginary friend, right? Come over and here. He's just pretend. He's just pretend. Come here, Alice. <laughs> morning, Jackie. Great to see you. Okay, so... I have got five boxes in front of me this morning and this is how much I love you guys. I had to mirror image write the names of the numbers because when they come up on the video they look backwards so I had to write them backwards so they look forwards to you guys if you know what I mean. So all of my boxes have a Spanish word on them that is the name of a number and we're going to see if we can guess what number each word represents and we can find the answer by opening the boxes and counting the number of things inside. Okay so Alice could you choose one of my boxes? You choose a box, any box. One. This one. Alice has gone for this box first. Now this box says Cinco. Can you say that? Cinco. Cinco. 
girl. Good girl. It says Thinko. And I wonder if anyone wants to guess at home what number Thinko represents. Do we think it represents number five or number four? Oh, mm. What one do you think, Alice? Um. Oh, Alice thinks that Thinko means number four. That's your guess. Mm, that could be a really good guess. Or it might be the other answer. It might be five. So five. We're going to open the box and find out when we count the number of things inside. Okay. If you want to guess at home, please just write a comment and we can One. find out if you're right. Okay. Oh. So, box numero cinco. One. Okay. One Let's, box. Can you open it out? Oh, inside... It's letters. Let's count how many letters we've got. One. Let's take them out. We've got one, one two, two, three, three four, and five. Five. Very good. So we have five letters. So thinko must mean five. I wonder if anyone noticed what letters it was that we pulled out. S. S. P. P. A. For Alice. I. N. Spells. Oh, I don't think I can hold them all at once, but it does actually spell Spain. Spain. Can't hold them. <laughs> Spain. Bye. Good morning, Grant. Grant's tuned in. Hey, Grant. Great to know you're here. So, thinko means five. So, Alice guessed four, but that's okay. Sometimes we make mistakes when we guess, and that is okay. But four is still in the running. So, we found out number five. So, Alice, would you like to choose another box? Would you like this one or this one? This one. Okay. Alice has picked the box that says dos. 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 Very good, Alice. Dos. So, I wonder in Spanish what dos means let's see i wonder if dos means number two or, or, number, or number three or number three or number one or or number or number four or number four what do we think at home what do we think spanish people mean when they say dos hmm ali do you want to have a guess what number do you think dos means in Spanish. Mm. That's my one. Ah, you're going to guess number two because two is your age. That's a good reason for guessing. So Alice thinks that dos must be I'm hungry. number two. You're hungry again. We'll get something in a wee minute. In fact, one of these boxes might have something to eat in it. You never know. Anyone want to guess at home? What do we think dos means? One or two? Or three or four. Mm. Or five. Or five. Well, I think we know it's not five because thinko was five. So I wonder what dos means. Okay, let's see. Will we open it and have a look? Right. Okay. Would you like to open the box and see what's inside? Oh, inside we have got soft toys but how many soft toys do we have inside the box one okay let's pull one out we've got one teddy bear one teddy bear and one spanish lady senorita or senora and he, so how and many... he dances like me <laughs> lovely dancing ali <laughs> Okay, so if we count the number of toys that we had in the box, one, two, then I think dos must be Spanish or two. There we go. So it's Spanish, it's dos Yay! for two. Very good. Okay, Ellie, we're going to choose another box. Let's see. Uh, um, Which box now? Um, this, one. this one here. Okay. Alice has chosen, can you find this way, Janet? Has chosen the box that says tres. Cres. <laughs> it's like t, so it's tres. Can you say t, tres? Tres. Good girl. Okay, so Alice has chosen the box that says tres. I wonder what tres 
would mean in English. Mm. And maybe what? What number do you think it will be, Alice? Three. Three. Alice thinks that tres would mean number three. I wonder if she's right. What do we think? Open it. Okay. I'll open it. Okay, you can open the box and we'll see. What's inside, Ellie? Blocks inside. Let's count the blocks. One. One. Two. And three. Okay, so if we put our blocks together, red, yellow, red. What does that remind us of? Three. That's a bit of three, right? Kind of reminds me of the flag we made the other day, doesn't it? So... One, two, three blocks. So I think that tres must mean three. Well done, Alice. You guessed right. That is three. Uh, why do tigers live in trees? <laughs> That's a very good question and not one I expected. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's comfy in trees. <laughs> okay. uh, so, why do giraffes eat on branches? more great questions we'll look at them later <laughs> okay so tres means one two three we've got two more boxes to look at alice which one do you want it to be mm, mm, this one. Oh, i like that word alice has chosen the box that says cuatro. cuatro very good cuatro so it's either four or one what do we think the answer is going to be four <gasps> Alice thinks the answer is four, or it might be number one. I wonder if anyone wants to guess at home. Anyone got any ideas? Do we think quattro? I don't like the sneezy bugs. No one likes the sneezy bugs, darling. I They're know. very, and we could wash the sneezes off because we don't want germs from them. No, that's true. That's true. We won't worry though. We're at home the, and we're safe. Those okay, bad darling. little sneezy bugs. I know. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. So Alice thinks that cuatro means four. Shall we open up and find Eight, out? Let's see. Oh. <gasps> What's inside? Orange and... Oranges and tangerines. Oh, well, let's count them first. Okay, take one, my one. Two. two three. So, four is the same in Spanish as cuatro. Cuatro means four. And we're going to do one more. We've got one last box. And I think we know what it is. If you've been watching all the way one, through. Mommy. Oh, thank you. Time. I'll enjoy that later. If you've been watching from the beginning, you probably already know what number it is one, that we haven't done yet. Two. So the last number I, I is did an uno. I did a tendering castle oh, snowman. Let's see, hold it up. Let's see. Oh, it all fell down. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I want this one. What does uno mean, Alice? What number do you think uno means? Can you guess? What conkers. Mm, that's where we usually keep our conkers, isn't it? Do we think uno means one or three, Ellie? So, uno, is it one or is it three? What do you think, Ali? Which one is uno? Mm. Oh, Alice thinks one. And if you've been watching from the beginning, I think, it, oh, what's Grant saying? Grant loves playing the game uno. Ah, of course. If, do you know what? I don't know when the last time I played uno was. Quite a long time ago, but actually that could be a really good shout for something fun to do over lockdown. I might have to order a game of Uno from uh, Amazon. Fantastic. Oh, and what's Jenna saying? Oh, she says it's a pleasure watching. Oh, it's so, and now Jenna knows our numbers in Spanish. Yeah. We better check if we're right yeah. then. So Alice says Uno is one. What's inside the box, Alice? A fan. One um, fan. I'm, um, I'm, I want to cool down with this. Cause That's I exactly like, what it's for. Um, it's for cooling down people that are hot. Exactly. And, and 
freezing cold. It helps to cool you down when you're hot. So if you're in Spain and you're feeling very hot, a fan is a great idea to keep you cool. I'm very hot, Mom. So our numbers in Spanish, starting from number one, are uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. There we go. I like Spanish. I've been trying to practice at home. So this is good practice for me too. So guys, uh, we have uh, had... Do you need to cool down? I probably do need to cool down. Do you want to give me a fan? Yeah. Oh, it's a little broken. Give it a go. Okay. Let me feel that nice breeze. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's very nice. I'm hot too. Would you like me to fan you? Yeah. There we go. Ready? Ready for this, senorita? Oh, is that nice? Faster, 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 faster. It is nice. It's quite warm in our room today. Can, can I have this? Yes. Orange? We are going to go and have an orange as a snack. I think it's a Spanish orange, so it will be extra delicious. Um, hope you guys have a really good morning and that you enjoyed our video. And see you guys soon. Adios, amigos. You want to say adios? Adios, amigo. Well done. And there's Bonnie in the background as well saying adios. She's had enough too. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye. Um, um.